it's gay sex all the time. Just, just gay sex, sex. Oh, okay. <laughs> Noises Off is um, a, a uh, British farce originally by, uh, written by Michael Frayn. Um, it consists of three acts and it uh, has a play within a play. And basically in Act 1 you get to see the final dress rehearsal of this play. Act 2 you get to see a performance of it you know, a few weeks down the line from the point of view of backstage. And then um, the third act is actually their final performance. And of course, um, it's it, the the play within the play is a classic farce with you know door slamming, mistaken identity, bags, sardines, all that I <laughs> I know right, and all that other kind of stuff. Um, but then the the, um, the the overriding play is, of course, you have this company of, of mediocre actors who are trying to put this thing together and go out on tour. And, of course, all of the personal conflicts and misconceptions and things just get out of hand, which leads to absolute uh, hilarity. And you'll be, like, hugging her around the waist and stroking her feet and everything else. And you, of course, the entire time are trying to get him off you because you have an entrance to me. Okay? There's um, an actor that has to fall all the way down the stairs on stage in front of the audience. Um, there's lots of pants falling down. There's the uh, same actor who has to fall down the stairs, has to spend much of the second act running around with his shoelaces tied together. Um, all kinds of crack falls. One of the actors, she has to spend the vast majority of the play running around in her bra and underwear. Uh, multiple people get pantsed. Um, <laughs> uh, running into walls, bumping heads, there's an amusing bit with an axe. Boom! 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 Good. So it's, it is a fairly physical show. It's very demanding on the actors, um, both physically, uh, mentally. Um, it, it is an absolute challenge. But of course, uh, once you put all these things together, it really is a brilliantly written and multi-layered comedy. Uh, quite, quite possibly one of the funniest plays um, ever written. Uh, the set, yeah, uh, designed and built by Dylan McArdle and his lovely and vivacious assistant Tim Harris. Ladies, he's single, so. <laughs> yeah, um, designed and put up by Dylan, uh, which of course he's bringing all of his expertise to it. Of course, building a set that just wouldn't have been feasible or possible in the old theater at the uh, scale that we're looking, because we have a much bigger stage here, and now this set is pretty much filling it. Of course, this set has to rotate throughout the show twice, because it goes from, you know, the, the front of the set in Act 1 to the back of the set in Act 2, and then by Act 3, we turn it around again. Yeah, sardines. Uh, there's something inherently funny about fish, number one. Um, and sardines especially. And <laughs> I, th I think there is a parallel between you've got, you know, sardines who are stuffed into this can that, that they can't escape. You're all just, you know, sardines are all like that. Well, I think any actor who's ever been out on tour for a lengthy amount of time uh, kind of understands what that's like because the people that you got on tour with, you spent 24 hours a day with these people. Uh, you're performing together, you're traveling together. In a lot of cases, you're sharing rooms with each other. Um, it's just, there's this incredibly claustrophobic feeling that you get. Even when you like the people you're working with, eventually you just get sick looking at them and hearing their voice. And of course, that's what causes so many problems even in this, in this play, amongst these characters in the play, is just familiarity and contempt. And they are sardines in this little world of two. 